Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. My name is Sarah. We have a large family. I guess that is a relative word. We have 10 children though. And I like to shop once a month. I just am not into the shopping thing that much. Rather get it all done with it once if possible. And I'm about to show you what we buy for our family of 12 people for the whole month. It barely fit on my table, just the one store. So I'm thinking we may need a new leaf for the table just for our grocery shopping and showing you. We have a new leaf. The table just doesn't fit in the room. I guess we need a new room for our table. It's getting to be a lot. We have our oldest is 16 down to 10 months old. So we got some teenagers in there. They like to eat growing children. It's good, healthy. Anyway, we plan out our food for the whole month. That's how we do our shopping. I just recently made a video about that. I will link it down below if you're interested in how we plan it to be able to shop like this. Fairly simple. We've done it for a long time, so that helps. And yes, biggest question always, you must have tons of storage. We do have a lot of storage space. We have two upright freezers in our garage. One's full of beef. So you won't see much beef represented in this grocery haul because we buy a whole beef at once, whole cow, and then the rest goes in the other one. <laughs> and we have an extra fridge in that garage too. Okay, let's get started. Today was Sunday and I went, if I look tired, you don't have to tell me. Some people love to tell me when I <laughs> look tired. It's Sunday. I'm always tired on Sunday. Don't usually do my grocery shopping because I know I'll be tired on Sunday, but for multiple reasons, we needed to pick up groceries today and today only. I usually avoid stores too on Sunday. Raise your hand if you shop on Sunday. It's like the biggest grocery shopping day of the week. That's what the statistics today, I think. So that means I stay away. <laughs> but I thought, well, pick up. These are pickup orders I got. I went to Sam's and Walmart for pickup orders. I thought for sure it couldn't be that crazy because it's just pickup. Like people are walking through the stores on Sunday, but the pickup can't be that busy. It was busy, but let me tell you what, those stores have stepped up their pickup game. I didn't wait long at all. I'm mean, there on top of it. The pickup lines were popping today. <laughs> uh, I'm still tired, but we're gonna get through this because we needed food here and you guys like to see it. So let me show you. The masses of food. It's deep. I mean, it's deep over here. Oh, well, let me start over here before I forget. Baby wipes, we have a couple babies in diapers. Size four diapers, we do some cloth, but we also do some disposable, and my babies share the same size, which is convenient. Finally got some toilet paper in a pickup order. That was helpful. We go through a lot of that a month. And I found this big bag staring right at me here in my haul when I was unpacking and I did not buy that. I also found an extra bag of avocados so I was checking my list to see if I accidentally hit the avocado button twice or what's going on. Has this happened to you guys? I mean, there's always mistakes in my order. Usually it's my fault. And so I was looking through there. Did I accidentally order these chips that we never eat? No, I called them and they said, oh, thank you for your honesty for telling us. Just keep them and enjoy them. These will be gone in minutes with my kids and we really appreciate it. It was so nice of them to let us keep the avocados. I would not have minded taking them back or just paying for them. I'm sure they don't want them back in these COVID days, but I would have just let them pay, just paid for them. Um, but no, they let us keep them. So mozzarella cheese and then these two bags of cheese. I think I only do just a little over one of these a month for tacos and casseroles and different things like that. All the things. Pizza. Oh, we're doing pizzas for lunch. Well, I guess that would be some of that. But I this does store very well. And I'm working on my storage a little. So you'll see I, I have a great pantry storage. That's well stocked. But I'm trying to work on the freezer stuff a little bit. It's a little crazy around here in the United States. Just want to make sure I have plenty of whatever I need for whatever comes along. You know what I mean? Got some pistachios and cashews for lunch or for snacks. We're doing a lot of nuts and fruit and raisins. My kids love raisins. I'm not a fan myself. But Lots of fruit, two big things of grapes here. And I got four bags of apples, two gala, gala, how do you guys say that? And then Fuji, two bags of Fuji. Got a little raspberries, Seth really, my baby loved that last time that we got those. Coconut oil, just some staples, this huge garlic powder, this big imitation vanilla. The price of real vanilla is like, it's, it's really high. A viewer, really kind person who makes her own vanilla, sent us one actually bigger than this, and it has taken us so many months to get through, and we're just at the end of it. So now we're back to the fake stuff. <laughs> but we so appreciated that. It was so sweet of her. Um, this huge bag of chocolate chips, because we're going to make some breakfast cookies, and I'm going to put a little of this in there. We also put this in our granola once in a while. If my kids are getting tired of granola, which they do here and there, I'll give them each a little handful of chocolate chips in there. I figure it's still better than sugar cereal, right? And it really makes them excited about granola. They love it that way. 
These three bags of sliced cheese will take us right through the month and some strawberries just to add to smoothies. We got a couple boxes of Rotel. And that is for my downstairs pantry, like my storage, emergency storage. So that one is, I guess. And I got, normally we go through about two of these 10, is it 10? How many pounds? 20, right? No, 10. <laughs> we go through two 10 pound, oh, it's right there. Come on, Sarah. Two 10 pound bags of chicken a month, of chicken breast. But I got an extra one for that freezer. Here's a bag of just mixed fruit for the smoothies. My kids like just eating that for snack a lot. I think they even like it better than popsicles and it's better than popsicles, so. And then some berries too, so that's some frozen fruit. And then here's some chicken tenders. We're gonna do these on the grill. We'll do the whole bag at once and hopefully have some leftovers for my husband and I for lunches, we'll see. Kind of got some of the meat over here, but we're doing some tuna salad or tuna. I can't remember. I wrote it down somewhere, but we're doing some tuna this month. Got some bacon bits. We really like the bacon bits there. Bacon crumbles. They make everything better. <laughs> we put them in eggs and on salads and all kinds of stuff. And one bag of tilapia. Two big things of oatmeal. I probably should have gotten that at Aldi. I will go to Aldi this month. And then these are some of the treats we consistently are buying because they're really good. They're low carb. And my husband and I are eating low carb, so it really helps to have some convenient things when all the kids are baking good stuff and making sugar things and you want something good. These are my favorite favorite as a dessert. It's hard to actually stop at one or two. They're one carb each. And these we use kind of like, oh, I forgot to eat lunch. I need something quick. More like a little meal replacement, but they taste like a Snickers bar. So I have used them for dessert too. We got these for salads, which are we also use for wraps. This for salads, which is already chopped romaine lettuce. And this for salads. Oh, I meant to get spring mix. Oh, it is spring mix. It looks, says spring mix, it looks like spinach, but I guess if you look hard, you can tell. <laughs> So a few salad things, I, I do go back halfway through the month, or actually I don't usually, my son or my husband will just stop somewhere and grab some fruit and a little more salad stuff and another eight gallons of milk just halfway through the month. Here's the two bags of avocados we're thankful for and we will eat, <laughs> and then the tomatoes. Oh, we get more tomatoes halfway through the month too. Just a few items, you know, it'd be hard to buy those once a month or we'd just be relying solely on frozen food and we don't wanna do that totally if we can avoid it. Just got a little applesauce this month. I think I need applesauce in the cookie recipe I picked out, so I don't know, I'll be sharing that. Um, two, oh, we're switching up some of our meals, our lunches and breakfasts, and one of the lunches the kids really wanted to do was meat and cheese and crackers. We don't usually buy a ton of processed food. I guess maybe some of you that really don't buy processed food will think we buy a lot, but I think we are doing the best we can. That's what we're doing. And so we, usually we don't buy crackers. I've actually even made them myself before, but right now, <laughs> that's not happening. I thought it was a great idea to do this for lunch once a week, the crackers, cheese, and whatever. With We do carrots and dip on the side, and we have carrots still. So that or fruit or whatever, but yeah. Two bags of buns. We're doing a couple meals with buns. The kids eat buns, Solo and I never do. And a bag of hot dog buns, so these are hamburger. I think we're doing Sloppy Joe's one night, hamburgers one night, and we have brats. Then we got these low-carb tortillas. Solo and I use these. Solo is my husband if you're new here. <laughs> and these are great once in a while just for a quick lunch. Or when we're having tacos and we want to eat like everybody else. They, they do work. I got seven bundles of bananas here. We'll eat those real fast. And then I'm going to try some homemade pizzas. I see people making them all the time on non bread. So once a week the kids will have homemade pizza lunch which that'll be fun. That's kind of a switch for us. I've tried them on tortillas a lot, but my kids don't like them that much that way. So we're trying the naan to see how that goes. And we got five bags of tor these tortillas, and I really like these. I think they're pretty healthy for the kids. There are healthier ones, but they're pretty good and whole wheat and stuff. So we use these a lot for meat and cheese. We microwave them, put some mayonnaise on it, roll it up, or peanut butter and jelly. Use them for tacos, all those other things, the normal things. <laughs> and there's some pickles we got some mayonnaise we go through that whole thing every month that's crazy and then some jam a couple of maple syrups two packs of pears of honey so four of honey and this big thing of parmesan cheese we got two bags of string cheese oh that's another snack we keep around my little ones really love string cheese i do too <laughs> 
and then some cream cheese. There are four in each package of those. And this, I love this on salads and I love it on, I make some greens a lot in the morning. I love it on that, it's goat cheese. So this big goat cheese, these things can kind of go bad fast and it's a lot. So I have to eat this aggressively <laughs> when I open it. I'm like putting it on everything that it would taste good on. So some of my kids really like it too, which helps. They help me. And then I love these sweet peppers. We find ways to eat these raw and also um, in dishes. And same with these. I don't have a necessary plan for these, but we're, we've been eating them more and more. So I know we'll go through that bag just fine. These red onions, got a big bag of that. Mushrooms, my kids have really been liking mushrooms. A number of years ago, they did not like mushrooms at all. My parents still live here and my dad loved to have the kids, all of us over when he was making spaghetti. And he always put mushrooms in his spaghetti. So he told them, he told the kids, he lied to them. <laughs> he told them they were chicken mushrooms. So they all tried them and loved them. And they'd come home, they'd be like, oh, I don't want your mushrooms, I want chicken mushrooms. So we started calling all of them chicken, chicken mushrooms. <laughs> it worked. They all know that they're not chicken now and we call them just mushrooms, but they all love mushrooms now. I don't know, it was a mental block for them and is it a parenting skill I would recommend? Probably not, but it worked. <laughs> Four bags of these cuties. These are big bags, and I tell you, these will not last two weeks in our house. I promise you that. They might not even last a week. They are so popular. I could never buy enough that they would have enough. Limes, we've been using the lime juice, fresh lime juice on a lot of dishes. It makes everything better. Throw some cilantro and lime on anything and it will be better. <laughs> these chicken drumsticks, Belle requested this meal. We used to make, um, uh, a meal all the time with these and haven't done it for a while so I don't know we'll either make that or we'll grill it depending on what we feel like she said she might want to cook that meal so gonna have it available for her <laughs> we like this thick cut bacon from Sam's Club haven't bought it for a long time we haven't had like real the real deal bacon non bacon crumbles for a long time so that's just a fun change and I got so much food now it's hanging off the high chairs off the side we got some brats for one meal, and these would be good with kebabs with those peppers over there, you know? Solo's been wanting to do some kebabs. I put these two chickens, little chickens in the crock pot, or usually I can fit two in one. I like to get the free range chickens, but they didn't have them, so these are a little bigger. But I will cook them in the crock pot, and then I will use, we'll take all the meat off of whatever we didn't eat. One would not be enough, two is too much, so we'll, Save all the meat to put throw on salads during the week or whatever. Then we'll leave all the bones in the crock pot, add water to it and a little vinegar, apple cider vinegar and some seasonings and I don't know, onion, carrots, whatever, and make a bone broth. Just leave it, leave that juice with the bones on low all night long. And then I freeze the bone broth. And so then we have chicken broth for free after using these. So we get a couple meals out of this, which works really good for us. That was a long explanation, sorry about that. <laughs> Heavy whipping cream, we got three of those. I think we're making butter chicken, so I know that'll take a lot of one of them, and then, yeah, whatever, we use it. We use it up. Last thing is a couple cottage cheese and a couple sour cream, and then I will show you the next door. My Sam's Club total was $852. Of course, that included some extra things like those extra bags of chicken. That extra bag of chicken was $18. You know, there were some extra, a few extra things. And then I went to Walmart, got a Walmart pickup. You will have, you have never seen Walmart looking so pretty. I should work there. Look at that. All right, let me show you what I got there. This is extra for extra. <laughs> We haven't had enough peas lately and they had them yay. So I got these huge bags They're pretty big anyway, and they're two pounds each We use these with noodles and tuna and mayonnaise We mix it all together for lunch the kids do that and we're gonna go back to that once a week We got six milks. That's all whole milk. They, that's all they would let me get there And so I'll get a couple of <laughs> I can't talk today. I'll get a couple when I'm Aldi because we like eight for two weeks for our 10 children. We basically only eat it with granola. Sometimes we make yogurt and once in a while we drink it for dinner. They do. Okay, I got these Halo Top ice creams. These are low carb options. We eat like a third of it and if we need a treat or whatever, this is for the whole month for my husband and I. But anyway, they asked me when they were bringing the groceries, are you okay with the substitutes? So they substituted, I had ordered three peanut butter cup because we have salted caramel in the fridge already. Okay, the freezer. 
and that's my husband's favorite. We have plenty of that, and he hasn't been eating it, so <laughs> I don't like it. But I do love the birthday cake one and the chocolate peanut butter. So anyway, I told her, sure, that's fine. Give me the exceptions, because there's always someone here who will like them. Pumpkin pie. They give me two pumpkin pie. That sounds so disgusting. In fall, I'm more of an apple person. I like the apple smells and the apple flavors a little more than pumpkin. I can't even imagine pumpkin ice cream. If I was a coffee drinker, I would not be drinking pumpkin spice latte. It's just not my thing. It's okay, someone here will like it. And I'll try it, I'll try it. See how weird it is. Got some A1 sauce just for my working pantry in my kitchen, my everyday pantry. I had a, one of you comment that I can make A1 sauce. I think it was out of Worcestershire, Worcestershire said that wrong i'm sure and ketchup and so google to the rescue i wish i would have screenshotted that comment because i don't remember how to make it now but i'm gonna have to try that soon and two i think this month we'll also be trying to make our own ketchup so i'll show you that if we do that two things of cilantro i got some sausage because we're gonna try a new breakfast burritos and i asked the kids would you eat breakfast burritos especially if they were frozen we just were reheating them in the mornings once a week and they said yes if you have sausage in them <laughs> so we did that some frozen kale they would only give me three bags same with peas i just got as many as they would give me because i, I really needed some peas we haven't had them around for a while they've been hard to find couldn't find like the spaghetti noodles i mean they just didn't have the cheap brand that i love of whole wheat spaghetti noodles but they did have a lot of these so we'll we'll use these when we do it for lunch we do two bags or dinner for the kids so I got 10 bags here. That'll be four lunches plus a dinner or two dinners with these penne noodles. So that's just the amount of noodles we need for the month. And my husband and I don't even eat noodles. So I should have gotten some mashed cauliflower because we're running low on that, but that's okay. I think we'll, we'll make it. We have some riced cauliflower we can use instead. Got some eggs. Usually I get three of these, but I have some leftover from last month. So we'll use those up right away. Actually, the older the egg, I mean, I don't wait till they go bad or anything, but when the eggs have been sitting for a little while, they actually make great hard boiled eggs because they peel better. I think I learned that from you all. Anyway, it's the truth. So we do eat a lot of hard boiled eggs. That's gonna be some of our snacks too. Well, I said we're not doing much for snacks. We're, we're just doing fruit and nuts, but no, we're doing string cheese. We're doing hard boiled eggs. We're doing raisins, fruit and nuts. We got a lot of snacks around here. I'll cook up the older eggs first for hard boiled. They had beans again. It's been a while. I've just, I've struggled here to find the stuff I need. And this is for my pantry downstairs, my emergency storage. I told you I didn't need much for that. I just wasn't, I wasn't thinking. I'm tired guys, four pounds each. So got four big bags and these are like a dollar each. They're just one pound of chickpeas. I love storing these two kind of beans. They're my favorite because we use them the most. I have a lot of white beans still and we do make one chili with white beans consistently. So I'll get those when I start running low. I got a couple bags here of uh, no sugar chocolate chips for baking keto kind of stuff or low carb things. My daughter loves to make low carb things for my husband and I. What a blessing that is. And she's asked for xanthan gum several times. So just pick that up and that's it. That's it. I just need to tell you my total. Hold on. My total was 138. We budget for, what do we budget for? $1,300 a month. I'm getting up there. <laughs> But, and I'm not done yet. So I'm, I'm gonna go into two more stores. I don't like going into stores right now. It's really not my favorite thing, but I need to go into Aldi. It's time, the time has come. <laughs> and I need to go into Trader Joe's too. So I'll be back with those. I'm probably not doing them today. So you're gonna see, hopefully I have, will have changed clothes <laughs> by the time I see you again. <laughs> it's a few days later and I wanna show you the oranges situation. I picked my groceries up on Sunday and today is Tuesday. We have those and uh, just a couple left in there. <laughs> Good thing we have apples and bananas still. So I wanna show you my Aldi haul. Went into Aldi for the first time in a while. Got just a few loaves of bread for the month. <laughs> That's 16 loaves of bread, two more gallons of milk. I keep running out of large Ziploc bags. They have a good price on it there. I, I run out all the time. We have a couple reusable ones, but not enough. And I was just tired of running out. So this is just totally stocking up. Uh, some jalapenos, we're grilling some this month and we keep not grilling the jalapenos we have. So I wanna try grilling those. 
we got these sausages. When we're eating like Solo and I are eating low carb, we love just sticking this in the microwave real quick and then having it with cottage cheese. It's probably not the best, not the healthiest, but it is a quick low carb breakfast. Sometimes if you're very hungry. And then this salmon will all be for dinner one night. It's just a lot cheaper than the Sam's Club, although I must say the Sam's Club salmon, the frozen one, are way better. But we're feeding a lot of people here. It's good for them to eat salmon once in a while, these little guys especially, well, all of us, so. I got 12 pounds of butter. We don't quite go through this. I'm really trying to stock it up. I finally have four pounds in my freezer, so hopefully after this month I'll be able to add four more. I think we go through about eight a month, maybe a little more. And I just wanna build up that in our emergency storage for in the freezer. Got some bagels. These will all be gone this month. We eat two, the kids eat two a week. So we usually use those on Sunday mornings and they had a different flavor this time at Aldi, pumpkin spice. I took Eli and Noel with me and they thought that might be good. I let them pick out the flavors. They're my pickiest ones anyway, so that worked out well. <laughs> so I know they'll all like it. Got some beans, I saw these and we do need more white beans. I keep being asked for when kids are making th their own recipes or whatever for Dijon mustard and I haven't had it for a while. So I saw this and grabbed two of them, one to put in the fridge and one to put in the pantry for later. And then I got a few cans of salmon. I'm planning to make something with salmon or canned salmon this month as well. We're doing the pizza I said for, for lunch once a week. So that's for that and a few sprouted green bread. Solo and I eat low carb. We eat more Trim Healthy Mama, which is adding in some good grains. Like we eat beans here and there. We eat brown rice here and there and we eat sprouted green bread here and there. So I'll put these in the freezer and we'll just pull them out as needed. And then Eli and Noel told me that their friends eat this kind of bread sometimes and they love it and it's amazing. So they talked me into getting these two loaves. I thought we could do French toast with them. It'll actually be really good with that kind of white bread. And yeah, that's it. All of that was, Micah, could you show me my receipt on the counter there? Tell me how much all this was. I think it was 129, 159, 159. <laughs> Got the girls watching TV, so they'll be real quiet for me for a minute. <laughs> Aldi, thank you. 159, there it is, there it is. Hey, let me show you Trader Joe's. First of all, look at this big, beautiful white pumpkin. I love a good white pumpkin. I'm gonna put it right in the middle of this table. And I got the kids a couple boxes of their pumpkin cookies just because this is the season that they have them out. I got a couple things of almond butter. My breakfast cookies I'm gonna make requires almond butter. We didn't get peanut butter last month, so we had to work, break into our emergency storage a little more, so I just got a couple extra. I really was gonna get 10 or 12, but because often I buy six a month, and since I missed a month, but I don't know, I felt bad doing that. <laughs> I didn't wanna clear the shelves. They had a lot there, but. I think this is a good deal at Trader Joe's. I've said this many times, but it's just really peanuts and salt. And it's the kind you have to stir because it does not have added sugar. And it's $1.99, which is such a great deal. And then right next to it, the kids talk, they talked me into a number of things today. They talked me into pumpkin butter. And someone else there was saying it's so good. So instead of some extra jelly, we got pumpkin butter. And then I got, I did get these two jams or fruit spreads, I guess. We use these for low sugar because they don't have a lot of sugar added. If they do, it's just a little bit. Yeah, they don't, I don't think. And we just use a really thin spread on that sprouted grain bread, sometimes for low carb people. So we get the big old jellies for the kids that are having peanut butter and jelly and smearing it on, but just for a little spread, that works great. And then got some chocolate, three dark chocolate, three milk chocolate. I love this chocolate and I share it. But yeah, I haven't had it for a month, a good month, maybe two, I don't know. <laughs> Feels like three. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Trader Joe's total was $64 for all of that. Seems like a lot of money. Did I get something else there? No, <laughs> this stuff just costs that much. Okay, yeah, that was high. These are $1.99 each though. These are $1.99. Yeah, it, these are a lot. Don't usually buy these. Yeah, it adds up. Okay, I'll put my total here on the screen. We usually try to spend, like I said, $1,300 a month tops getting harder and harder with all these teens that eat a lot. Uh, we may have to raise our budget one of these days, I don't know. Sure, certainly does help that we buy our beef all at once in the year, so that doesn't count in that 1300. 
a month. For that fruit and milk, I like to have about $150 left. So if, if the total here, I don't even know what the total is right now, but if it's not 150 under 1300, then I may go over a little. Or um, I can try to be more frugal sometimes. We have plenty of frozen fruit around in our freezers. We can get away with getting a little less some months to stay in budget. So anyway, that's it. That's it for our grocery haul for this month. This is what we're eating in October. If you want to see how we're eating it exactly, we show a lot of our meal prep videos. Uh, so we're showing how we're cooking the dinners or at least prepping them ahead. And in our vlogs, we often show what we're eating. So the finished product. Also this month, I'm sure I'll do a video showing you when I cook all of our breakfasts ahead for the whole month or most of them. And so you can stay tuned for that. Thank you guys for watching and we'll talk to you again soon. Bye.